The North American F-86 Sabre was a jet fighter that served in the U.S. Air Force between 1949 and 1965. It was the Air Force's first swept-wing jet fighter and was one of the most important fighters used in the Korean War. In mid-1944, the United States Army Air Forces needed a medium-range, single-seat, high-altitude, jet-powered escort fighter and fighter-bomber. North American submitted four designs, and the company was granted a contract to continue to build three XP-86 prototypes. The XP-86 was based on the earlier FJ-1 Fury, but was lighter and much faster, the top speed was estimated to 582 miles per hour. However the required top speed was 600 miles per hour, and North American saw the need for radical change to fix this. The engineers took advantage of flight research data seized from German aerodynamicists at the end of World War II. This led to the introduction of a thin swept wing design that would reduce drag and delay compressibility problems seen in other fighters when approaching the speed of sound. Successful wind tunnel tests led to incorporating a 35 degree swept back wing in the design. The wing and stabilizer designs adopted features used in the German Messerschmitt Me 262. The first flight of the XP-86 took place October 1, 1947. This was just weeks before Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier for the very first time in the Bell X-1. The F-86 Sabre was used both as a fighter interceptor and as a fighter bomber. The XP-86 was fitted with a General Electric J-35C3 engine, and the F-86A1 used the more powerful J-47 GE-7. The fighter-bomber F-86H version used the even more powerful J-73 GE-3. Both the interceptor and fighter-bomber versions had six M3 Browning machine guns in the nose. Some of the interceptors also carried 5-inch unguided rockets on combat operations. The fighter-bomber version could also carry up to 2,000 pounds of bombs, including napalm tanks. The F-86 was very different to fly compared to propeller-driven fighters. This led to accidents. Also, various F-86 versions could have very different handling and flying characteristics, due to changes in design between the versions. The F-86 entered service in the U.S. Air Force in 1949. Three squadrons were rushed to the Far East in December 1950, to face the threat of the MiG-15 that had been introduced in the Korean War. The first F-86s were inferior to the MiGs in most ways, but when the F-86F was introduced in 1953, the F-86 was slightly superior to the MiG-15 in performance. By the end of the hostilities during the Korean War, F-86 pilots had been credited with shooting down 792 MiGs, and were reported to have only lost 78 Sabres in air-to-air -air combat. The actual MiG and Sabre losses in the Korean War are still debated. Soviet China and North Korea have admitted losing 659 MiG-15s during the war. They have also claimed to have shot down over 600 Sabres, but these figures does not match American records. In the 1958 Taiwan Strait Crisis, China tried to force nationalists from the islands Kimoi and Matsu. The Taiwanese Republic of China Air Force used F-86 Sabres to fly combat air patrols over the islands, and confronted Chinese MiG-15s and MiG-17s on several occasions. A number of the Taiwanese F-86s were fitted with the new American AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, which proved to be very effective against the Chinese MiGs. In 1965 war broke out between India and Pakistan. The Pakistani Air Force operated F-86s, that faced Indian MiG-21s, Falun Nats, Hawker Hunters and Sukhoi Su-7s in combat. According to Pakistani claims, F-86s were involved in shooting down 31 Indian aircraft while losing seven F-86s. India however claims to have shot down 11 Sabres and to have lost 11 Indian aircraft to F-86s. Sabres were also involved in combat in Guinea-Bissau during the War of Independence. All in all, the F-86 served in more than 25 different countries. It was retired from the U.S. Air Force in 1965, and a total of 9,860 aircraft were produced.